Taylor Swift endorsed Kamala Harris. She did so right after the debate. We were all expecting this. Taylor Swift is a big lib. She endorsed Biden in 2020. She was going to endorse Harris, probably. But notice the way that she did it. Well, okay, I'll read you what she said first. And then I'll point out something odd about the way she did it. She says, Kamala fights for the rights and causes I believe need a warrior to champion them. I think she's a steady-handed, gifted leader, and I believe we can accomplish so much more in this country if we're led by calm, not chaos. Like many of you, I watched the debate tonight. If you haven't already, now is a great time to do your research on the issues at hand and the stances these candidates take on the topics that matter most to you. As a voter, I make sure to watch and read everything I can about their proposed policies and plans for this country. Recently, I was made aware of AI of me falsely endorsing Donald Trump's presidential run posted to this site, really conjured up my fears around AI and misinformation, brought me to the conclusion that I need to be transparent about my actual plans for this election as a voter. The simplest way to combat misinformation is with the truth. She goes on and on. I'm not going to read the whole thing. With love and hope, Taylor Swift, childless cat lady. Okay, so some now are responding and saying, ah, this is Trump's fault. Had he not, had he and his followers not posted AI of Swifties for Trump, maybe she would have stayed out of the race. Give me a break. Oh, did Trump post AI pictures in 2020 when she endorsed Biden, who was half dead? Give me a break. She was always going to endorse Kamala. This is the excuse to make it seem as though she had to endorse, to, to temper her political activism make it sort of an aw shucks, I'm just trying to set the record straight kind of a thing. Likewise, it had nothing to do with either party's performance at the debate. Perhaps if Kamala had just collapsed on stage like Biden, perhaps Taylor Swift would have held off. But this was not about the debate. She had to wait for the this debate because she had to at least pretend that she was waiting to hear from both candidates. Kamala Harris didn't run for president in the 2024 primary. There was a palace coup that installed her. So she had to hold off her, she probably held off her endorsement of Biden because so many people were suggesting Biden would be swapped off the ticket. So this was not a matter of will Taylor endorse. This was certainly not a matter of who will Taylor endorse. It was simply a matter of timing. But Taylor was a little bit cautious about it. She was not over the top. She was not effusive, even as probably the most popular Democrat on earth right now. She did her duty. But that was it. Then President Trump reacted to the endorsement. Out of nowhere, after the debate last night, uh, Taylor Swift endorsed uh, Kamala Harris. What do you think? Well, I actually like uh, Mrs. Uh, <laughs> I actually like Mrs. Mahomes much better. If you want to know the truth, she's a she's a big Trump fan. I was not a Taylor Swift fan. It was just a question of time. She couldn't. Uh, you couldn't possibly endorse Biden. You look at Biden, you couldn't possibly endorse him. But she's a very liberal person. She seems to always endorse a Democrat, uh, and she'll prob- probably pay a price for it at the uh, in the marketplace. But no, I I like Brittany. I think Brittany's great. Brittany was got a lot of news <laughs> last week. She's a big she's a big MAGA fan. That's mm-hmm. the one I like much better than Taylor Swift. Right. Uh, 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 yep. Yeah, um, Brittany is uh, Mahomes. Mahomes. Yeah, they're, they're, uh, Mahomes. They're, they're great friends. The uh, wife of the great quarterback, and he is a great right. quarterback. My favorite team from right. Kansas City. I think, I think she's terrific. I love it. You know, for the people who say Trump's not disciplined or Trump uh, it takes personal slights too uh, too intensely, and he, you know, here you have the most famous woman in the world coming out against Donald Trump with all these little jabs, the childless cat lady, whatever, and. Trump does not go after Taylor Swift, which which would be unnecessary and probably unproductive. He says, oh, you know, I like Brittany Mahomes, actually. Yeah, she's more my speed. Taylor's a big Democrat. That's okay. It might hurt her, but, you know, that's okay. But I like Brittany Mahomes. This is a perfect answer. Go to policygenius.com slash Knowles. Every big election gets me thinking about the future, not just the next four years, but decades down the line. What kind of America will we leave for our children and grandchildren? It's a sobering thought. While we fight the good fight politically, we also need to take care of our own family's futures. That is where Policy Genius comes in, the country's leading online insurance marketplace. A lot can happen over the next four years, let alone the next few decades. Policy Genius helps you find the right life insurance policy at the best price, so you have one less thing to prepare for in these uncertain times. Let me tell you, 
their prices might surprise you. With Policy Genius, you can find life insurance policies that start at just $292 per year for $1 million of coverage. Some options even offer same day approval and avoid unnecessary medical exams. I have got life insurance myself. Knowing that my family is taken care of gives me the peace of mind to focus on the cultural battles that we are fighting every day. Policy Genius makes it easy. Their technology lets you compare quotes from America's top insurers in just a few clicks. Plus, they've got real licensed agents to help you out if you need it. Be ready for the future with Policy Genius. Go to policygenius.com slash Knowles, K-N-W-L-E-S, or click the link in the description to get your free life insurance quotes and see how much you could save. That is policygenius.com slash Knowles. Okay, yeah, this was already baked in. Taylor Swift was going to endorse a Democrat. Let's move on. You know, Taylor, she was kind of slow about it. She couldn't endorse Biden. She's kind of, okay, no big deal. Other celebrities, by the way, forget about Taylor Swift, other celebrities won't even do it. Usher just went on ABC, you know, the uh, liberal station that hosted the debate. He went on The View, this unbearable left-wing show, and Joy Behar tried her best to get Usher, another beloved cultural figure, to endorse Kamala Harris. Here's what he said. I always say that in this emergency that we're in, I think that behooves artists to come out and speak for Kamala against Donald Trump because he is an existential threat to the country. What do you say to that? You know what? I don't get too deep into politics. I didn't get a chance to watch the debate last night. I obviously have been watching uh, like everybody else. I think voting is an individual choice. And Uh I think that you're right. You have to look at the reality of the country that we are and the country that we want to be. And find the candidate that you feel both are, are uh, op- who, who fits the category of where we want to be. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and, and that's it. And that's what you vote based off of. Uh, who you um, highlight and how you choose to highlight it on whatever platform you have is your prerogative. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, but Usher, you were supposed to endorse Kamala. Why won't you endorse Kamala? Yeah, no thanks. I'm good. He's, and Usher's so smooth. You know, he's so cool. Yeah, no, um, that's okay, actually. Thank you, though. No, but you have to. It's really important, don't you think? Yeah, politics is real important. I'm not going to endorse, though. Ha <laughs> ha. Sorry. <laughs> he's all smooth and moving around. Uh, now, Usher has endorsed candidates before. He endorsed Obama. It's not that he's totally opposed ever to endorsing a politician. This is not Michael Jordan, even Republicans buy sneakers. I'm going to shut up on politics. Totally. This is Usher saying, yeah, Kamala, she ain't it. I'm not staking my career on Kamala Harris. I don't think that endorsing Kamala Harris is going to help me at all. And I don't think the the good of the country calls for it. Usher is supporting Kamala. I think he says in the interview that he's going to vote for Kamala. But he, he won't go as far as to say, you should vote for Kamala. He ain't campaigning with her. He won't even say on TV, go vote for Kamala. Why? Why not? What's the, what's the benefit to him? You know, celebrities are very savvy politicians, especially celebrities like Usher or Taylor Swift, who have endured for many, many years. Usher's been around longer than Taylor Swift. These people... They know what works in the marketplace. They know how to get people to like them. They know what's popular. The fact that Taylor dragged her feet on the endorsement, the fact that the fact that she blamed Trump for the endorsement, she gave herself an excuse. Oh no, I'm only doing this because Trump, you know, posted an AI picture or something. She had to give herself an out. The fact that Usher asked point blank says, "Yeah, I'm not endorsing Kamala." Yeah, well, it makes you think about that New York Times article at the top of the show. Maybe. The Democrats are doing a little bit worse than the pundit class is saying that they are. Maybe Trump, after everything, after everything, after the lies and the calumny and the investigations and the Russia hoax and the multiple attempted impeachments and the assassination attempt, and after all of that, maybe he's a little more durable and a little more popular among Americans than some would have us believe. And maybe the celebrities are a barometer of that. That was a great clip. Hold up. Ring the bell. Subscribe to the Michael Knowles YouTube channel. We'll see you next time.